Well, the owner of a high-end home building company is fending off bad reviews, a recent arrest, and lawsuits. Yeah, the Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl sat down with the homeowner who says the new house left uh, Muffley and Associates built him. Well, it'll cost them about a million dollars to repair. Dream home. We've all imagined one, haven't we? A local realtor, Michael Muffley, created a company based on that concept. He would do it all, he said. Help to buy the lot, manage the loan, hire the builder. But the Fox 5 I team was told by a homeowner that his brand new house was so poorly built that an inspector wrote that it was possibly, and I quote, lethal. This modern La Vista Park home has the clean lines and wall of windows that Wes Hansen wanted. He and his partner hired Muffley and Associates to build what was advertised as a dream home program. We have the best architects, the best builders, the best subcontractors, and we'll build your dream home. Carrera Homes was the program's selected builder for this project. And this is what the best got West Hansen. Built in 2016, today it's soggy, crooked, and rotting. So you can see how they're fogging up. That happens sometimes in very old windows. And then you'll see if you look closer, this whole system sinking into the floor. That's right. This big window system should be level. But watch, it's not. Wow. Mr. Hansen had to hire experts to look at his home. Structural engineers pointed out issues shortly after they moved in that needed to be fixed ASAP. Bowed windows, distressed exterior stucco, and rotting window sills show extreme moisture. Building experts say interior wood has a maximum allowable moisture content of 15%. This home is more than 40%, it says, because of ongoing water infiltration. Do you love our uh, stalactites? Outside, this might seem like a modern art installation if it weren't so destructive. Water forming icicle shapes. That's from the from the roof terrace above. There's a roof terrace above that's off a bedroom here that's that's uh, deteriorating a third time. Mr. Hansen told the Fox 5 I team that Muffley's team tried to fix this terrace multiple times, but nothing worked. Uh, their structural cracks are in the two far corners. Take a look at the pool and patio area. According to an independent engineering report, the pool and retaining walls show distress from water seeping in through the foundation soils. The experts go on to say erosion is likely due to loose, moist soil going down 120 inches, and that's 10 feet of untamped dirt supporting the outdoor living space by that pool. How much will it cost to repair the home, to put it in the condition that you wanted when you bought a brand new home? Based on the latest figures from 2019, it's $995,000. This inspection item is downright terrifying. It reads that the builder rigged the furnace, which ultimately would feed carbon monoxide into a bedroom. This left alone, it reads, could result in a lethal condition. But we can't sell it. We can't we can't do anything because no one's going to buy it. Mr. Hansen sued Muffley and Associates in 2018. He claimed fraud and breach of contract. Five years later, the case is in arbitration. Mr. Muffley has declined to talk to the Fox 5 I team, but in his response to the Hansen lawsuit, he disputes he bears any blame. He simply acted as a broker, he said, not a builder. But the Carrera Homes builder, Stephen DeLonga, said he and Muffley were 50-50 business partners in Carrera Homes. But Mr. DeLonga didn't want to comment any further. Our account was drained and emptied by the time we terminated our contract. So Another unhappy client took Michael Muffley to criminal court late last year. He was arrested for a felony theft charge. For the felony of conversion of payments for real property improvements. Clients claimed he used their money for other customer projects. Hey, listen, you haven't finished this. For Wes Hansen, it's been a nearly seven-year saga with no end in sight, and it's still costing the couple money. So what do you do now? Yeah, it's sort of status quo. We just put buckets out, mops, wet back, fans, yeah. towels. That's not a dream home. It's a nightmare. The Fox 5 I team talked with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office after hearing that clients had met with investigators there. And it has now been confirmed that yes, the prosecutor's office is looking into how Mr. Muffley is conducting business. And when we know more about this, we will certainly pass it along.